my final thank you is to Olivia, my new wife. Thanks for turning up today. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, me and Liv met on the good old Tinder some nine years ago now. After having some mutual friends and a couple of weeks worth of chatting back and forth, Liv was up in Harrogate seeing friends and suggested we go for a coffee. As mentioned earlier, we first met for a drink in Costa. Liv's friends stayed around the corner for the first 10 minutes just to make sure I want a complete weirdo or a catfish. <laughs> From there we carried on talking and things progressed and eventually we ended up becoming a couple. Fast forward to summer 2020, me, Liv, her parents and her two nieces, Ruby and Evie, and we were up in Harrogate and they were staying with us and we were in Molly Gardens. As much as I tried getting Simon by himself without making it blatantly obvious what I was trying to do, I was running out of time. Liv was in the park with the girls and they were making their way back towards us so I had to just do it. I asked both Liv's mum and dad together if uh, I could marry Liv. Obviously they said yes. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And my beautiful Olivia, she is a very strong intelligent, determined, ambitious young woman who has brought a tear to my eye. Right, we're, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Right, she brought tears to my eye when I saw her for the first time today in that stunning, stunning dress. Yeah. Today, a brand new family story begins. As a father of daughters, you never feel that any of their suitors is good enough for your little girl. But, Mr. Alex Baldwin, even though you are a Yorkshireman, <laughs> you have proved me wrong. It has been an honour for me to walk her down the aisle to Alex. And I wholeheartedly welcome you into our family. So Alex and Olivia make the perfect team. Liv is the calm to Alex's chaos. He is the drive behind their ambitions as a couple. Marriage is a truly wonderful thing. It's an enabler and a statement to each other and the world that you two are inseparable. Today is the start of an awfully big adventure and your friends and your family are here to share that joy with you to the rafters. from this day until the end of our days. I promise you my love and my honesty. I give you my heart and my trust. I will share with you. Big adventures and small acts of kindness. I will laugh with you and confide in you. And I will always cast the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife, <laughs> wife and husband, to make it your wife.
Olivia, you're looking sane today, and I'm so grateful to have shared what I have with you over the last decade, and I can't wait to make more memories with you in the future. <clears throat> I, I am and will be moving forward incredibly, incredibly proud to call you my wife. And before I get all emotional, I'd like to thank everyone and I would like everybody to upstanding, please. <laughs> please, can everybody put your glasses together for my wife and the new Mrs. Baldwin. Now, Mr. Baldwin, it's a tradition I started at my eldest's wedding. It's a little gift from me welcoming you into the family. Okay. Yeah, yeah, please. Fortunately, this is something we should have gave you when you first met the women of my family. You can put them on. Let us hear it one more time. Please raise the roof as I officially present to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Baldwin. Alex. I'd like to remind you of how lucky you are today. Today you get to leave here with a warm, friendly, caring, beautiful wife. And Liv, let me remind you of how lucky you are too. <laughs> you get to leave here today with a beautiful dress and a lovely bou bouquet of flowers. All joking aside, the day Alex met Liv, I knew he'd found the one. I'd never seen him so happy, happy, and for both of you to pursue each other while living 60 plus miles apart showed you had found something special in each other. I've been lucky enough to watch your friendship blossom from long distance to moving into Alex's parents, to renting a flat in Leeds, to buying your first house. The love continued to grow. I look forward to the future and spending time with you both as a married couple. Please, could you all raise your glasses and join me in congratulating the new Mr. and Mrs. Baldwin. You make the perfect couple and I wish you both a lifetime of health and happiness. I love you guys. I'm not sure I can or have the time to sum up the last 30 years of growing up with you. Um, but all I really want to say is that you're the best twin sister a girl could ask for. And I'm so happy that you get to keep your OKB initials. Even if from today it means Olivia Kate Baldwin, of course, will always be Barry Twins. So, Here's to the perfect day to end a pretty special year and to mark the start of a long and exciting life together as Mr and Mrs Baldwin.
We never know if we're going to find true love. We never know when or if it will strike, how long it will last, or with whom it'll be. But when we experience proper, deep love, it fulfills us mentally and physically. And that kind of love is worth cementing and celebrating. Shortly, you're going to say a few words that'll take you across the threshold of life. And things between you will never quite be the same. For today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife.